you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide, and today I'm going to be going over a market talk. So, I haven't done one of these in, I think, approximately like a week, just about. I could be wrong. I don't remember the last time I did this. It feels like quite a while ago, guys. Obviously, in the last few days, we've had a few things with the kickoff promo drop. Kind of a, kind of not my favorite kind of promo. I mean, you guys know my opinion on it. If you haven't, go watch that video. I did my whole opinion on it. Dropped it yesterday. But besides the point, we had the kickoff promo that affected the market a little bit. Not as much as you might think, but again, it's a kickoff promo. It's a small little promo. It's not some massive promo like Mud Heroes that will affect it. Especially with the way they ran the kickoff promo with a lot of those 83s that don't upgrade for weeks. There wasn't too much of an influx of players to really affect the market. And then... We also had the Julius Peppers Mutt 10 Limited Time Legend drop yesterday, in which you guys discovered that I forgot to do my solo challenge, and you guys can see that funny reaction at the end of the last video. It wasn't funny for me, probably funny for you guys. Kind of upset, kind of upset about it to this moment still, but it is what it is. Now, let's go over to the auction block and go slowly over from 80s all the way up to the 92s, what has really happened in the Mutt market since we last checked about a week ago. But before we get right into that video, guys, if you are new to the channel, go down below hit the subscribe button we're 80 subs away from 8k we're so close boys go hit the sub button turn on that noti bell make sure to like this video let's get this video to 200 likes guys market talk always as well let's get it to 200 likes and comment down below anything i may have missed in this video i always love some feedback i greatly appreciate it now guys let's get right into this video so let's go to the auction block come on down you know how i like to run this from the 80s and then we work our way up obviously like i always say the 80s are really telling are they're kind of telling of what the market trend will be although they don't move too much 80s are at 11k so that means the market's a little bit lower but it's not as low as it once was now the 81s are about 12k i imagine if you filter them out you'll probably find them for like 11k also that's pretty cheap to be quite honest with you so let's come over to the 82 to 83 so the 82s are 18k so they actually are up from the last big market crash we had but then again you can't compare this market to a day after vic came out or when, all that, when lamar came out like when that stuff was coming out when it was at his worst now next big thing that will affect it greatly will probably be mutt heroes mutt heroes are going to affect it pretty tremendously in my opinion mutt heroes and then obviously the october promo and whatever else comes out in the meantime will definitely affect it now, let's go over to the 83s the 83s are at let's see 25k i see over 24 looking like 24k if you filter them out again probably like 23k ish um not too expensive not too cheap somewhere like we're nicely right in between again the lower elites are a little high for me right now, in my opinion, because I have seen them a lot, a lot, lot cheaper. Now, the 84s at 36k. Not too high, not too cheap. Again, they're like right in the middle. Not, nothing too crazy. Now, if these 85s, 85s are going for 45k. That's a big Ben. You know, for, I guess, 45k for big Ben. So that's really not horrible. Again, things haven't really changed too much. Obviously, when we get to the higher tier cards, we'll get a better idea for what really has changed. Because as we, as we can see now, it doesn't look like much has changed in the last few weeks. Although things change at the moment of things dropping, such as kickoff and stuff. But once people kind of realized that kickoff wasn't really the promo that we all hoped it would be, people kind of fell back on that. People probably were prep selling. The day before kickoff drop was probably a pretty good day to get to buy cards. People were probably prep selling for the um, kickoff cards. That's what people do. They prep sell their teams prior to big promos coming out in case the team dies in value, which is smart. I don't do that anymore just because of how I power up my players and stuff. But it's not technically a bad idea that's what i used to do in every other madden so the 86s are 70k just about base so they're honestly up because these were about 55 60k a week or two ago when the market was really dead so the market's kind of up right now as a whole let's see dak prescott if stats aren't too great i mean for an 86 overall i would have wished that he get something threshold but he did not get anything threshold everything's pretty much a base 80 he's like a well-rounded quarterback if he was a little bit cheaper i honestly would have mind him on like a no money spent team but he is kind of expensive right now now as we go on down, let's see what the 87s sit at. I always miss them. Let's see. That's new Mike Adams from yesterday. He's already pretty cheap. 87s are 84k. So yeah, the market as a whole is pretty high right now. Honestly, it might be a time to sell some cards. Not at this moment. They're not. Uh, it's not up enough to justify selling. But it's not down enough to justify buying. But kind of like at a point where you might want to wait until things go up a little bit more. Cause see, like let's say you got Jason McCourty, right? You sold him right now for 84. Okay. After reduction, you get back 74k. But then, 
in a week when he comes down, he'll be 74K. So you kind of buy it back for the exact same amount of coins. If he was 95K, you could sell it, get back 85K, and then buy back for 74K. That makes sense. But at this at this pricing, I don't imagine anything here really like makes sense in terms of selling and buying. Now it's coming over to the 88. So the 88s are 125. Okay, that says a lot to me. I was buying these 88s right here for 98K for training. So these are up pretty pretty much like a lot. Like that's up like it was about 100k so it's about up 25 percent just 25 percent of 100k was 25k it's up 25 percent so that's a lot for these flashbacks same with the heavyweights the heavyweights were selling for like 108 so i'm pretty sure that was from around the vic time when they dropped like that bobby wagner's still down he hasn't recovered since pat willis came out heavyweights flashbacks are down as a whole let's see what some of these base legends are going for Marvin Harrison, 169. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Not bad. Now, the thing that I'm kind of concerned with is what is Strahan going for now that Julius Peppers came out? Let's see. 173. Okay, so I thought he would have went down more. He actually went up. It's also 9 o'clock in the morning. Don't forget that. But still, you'd think Strahan would have went up for the most part considering the fact that a better left that came out yesterday. Oh, these just came down a little bit right here. But you know that's not going to stay. Come on, come on. All right, so Mark Salon, 188. I mean, cards are looking like they're higher priced than usual. Dalvin Cook, 265. Odell, 274. Odell, 248. Odell, 220. Okay, Odell's are on regular price. Let's come over to these 90 to 91s. So oh, coming over here, 226 for Derek Brooks is actually pretty cheap. But then again, that's not the norm. They're all higher priced than that. Patrick Mahomes for 285. He's up in price. I sold him. People were selling him for like 2, 210, 230. I think I sold him for around 230. So I definitely lost a little coin on him, but that's fine. Lamar Jackson, 338, 351. Okay, I bought him for around 365, 370. So that's fine for me, honestly. Steve Young's down to 340, 330, 311. Wow. Steve Young took a hit. Stephon Gilmore, best cornerback in the game, minus Willie Brown. 335, not too bad. What is Willie Brown going for? It might be time to sell him. 360. Okay. I might start selling some players, honestly, guys. I can't compete in Weekend League this week. So since I didn't compete last week because I was busy, I forgot that I wouldn't qualify. So I didn't qualify this week either. I'm kind of pissed off about that. So I'm going to honestly start selling some players that I don't really need for the time being. And then wait for the next big promo to really buy my team altogether. Now, Aaron Rodgers and this kickoff player is already at 600K. So, I mean, I don't think there'll be power passable come next uh, series because I think... We got an 87 to 88 power pass, so our next power pass will be an 89 to 90. So any cards right here are not usable. You're gonna have to stick within the range right below here. Uh, you can obviously have signature series cards. It honestly wouldn't be a bad idea, like a Damon Harrison. But anything like you can use it on Lawrence Taylor, which wouldn't be a bad idea. You could use it on Willie Brown. You could use it on Alan Page. Any of these legends, anything below. I don't think they'll give us a higher power pass because they didn't do an 89 yet. So I think it has to be 89 to 90, although it would have been cool if it was 91s because I could have power passed uh, Khalil Mack and got his 91. But it's all good. For the time being, I do not think these kickoff cards are worth it in my opinion. Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback, he's good. But if you compare him to my Lamar Jackson, he only hits the threshold on throw power and short accuracy. If you came up, if you came up Lamar and you came up Aaron Rodgers, he would hit deep. Lamar would hit throw on the run. But it's that speed. I just don't think, like, if you're going to get a pocket passer, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is, like, the only pocket passer you could get. Like, there's a few others, you know what I'm saying? For, like, 600K. For 600K, I think I'd rather have Steve Young. Steve Young, if you power him up, hits the threshold for mid, short, pressure, run, maybe play action, and even throw power, depending on what, what exactly you use on him. Like, he can hit so many. In my opinion, Aaron Rodgers, I'd still rather take Steve Young because you also get the better mobility on him. Release or not, I get that, but still... Then Khalil Mack, if you compare him to Von Miller. Compare him to Von Miller, the speed's almost identical. The Excel is almost identical. Khalil Mack has slightly better strength, but Von Miller has better tackling, better play racks, like identical block shots, identical power moves, identical finesse moves, identical. They're literally the same exact cards. I really just, and they're six foot three. So I don't know if I could justify spending 600K to replace a guy who's literally identical. Doesn't really make sense to me. And then DeAndre Hopkins is like the only guy from this promo I really want. And that's only because I have his power up card. And I'm mean, gonna probably have them all year. So the speed's a big boost, the jumping's a big boost, the catching is good, the catching traffic's good, spec catching is better, short route running gets a lot better, medium route running gets better, and deep route running 
Now, if I chem this guy up, he will have the catch threshold, the catch and traffic threshold, the spec catching threshold, maybe the short route running threshold, and he already can jump like a beast. He'll be a red zone threat. I really love this DeAndre Hopkins. I think I'm going to have to pick him up at some point. And then Richard Sherman, too slow for my liking, guys. But if they were to give us a nat one in house rules or something, I would not be opposed to having him. If I got any of these guys in house rules, I wouldn't be sad about any of them, to be completely honest with you. If they were free, obviously, I'm talking about buying them, right? Now, guys, that is it for the video. I'm not going to go over the Mutt 10 players. I mean, I could, but the thing is that, you know, the limited times, no one really cares. Just remember that limited times at the end of the series will no longer be limited. They will come back into packs as normal cards, so that will kill their value. So just be, be wary about what limited time cards you buy for the rest of the year, Madden. And guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, go down below. Show some support. Hit, up the, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to comment down below anything you guys are thinking on the Mutt Mark and the kickoff promo. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Let's get to 8K as fast as possible, boys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.